The treatment of esophageal cancer is based on stage, much like most cancers of the of solid organs. Stage one is a cancer that occurs in the esophagus that is an early cancer that hasn't spread beyond where it started and is only in the, uh, in the, in the inner layers of the esophagus. That is treated primarily with surgery without often any need for chemotherapy or radiation. Stage four, which is on the other end of the disease spectrum, involves cancer that has spread to another part of the body away from where it started, namely the esophagus or the food pipe. That could be in the brain or the lungs or the liver or the bone. These folks are treated with chemotherapy as their primary mode of treatment with radiation for symptomatic benefit, either from bone pain from metastases to the bone or from difficulty swallowing to help relieve the, uh, the obstruction. Stage two and three involve cancers that can, that involve deeper layers of the esophagus or have spread to lymph nodes um, in the local area. These are often treated with chemotherapy, radiation, followed by surgery. The operation predominantly involves resecting the esophagus, um, not just the area where it's involved, however, it often requires resecting most of the esophagus, um, and using the stomach as a new esophagus or as a new tube to reconnect to the ex a small portion of the esophagus that's left behind. This allows people to eat food that can go directly into the stomach and to the rest of the bowel. That allows the treatment of the cancer, resecting the area or removing the area of cancer, as well as restoring the person's ability to eat. The recovery from an operation of this kind is often in the order of six to eight weeks and uh, requires additional uh, uh, follow-up for many years 